guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get this hair look. And this is supposed to be a how to fake natural curls look. So it's supposed to look like my hair is kind of naturally curly instead of curling it. Because a lot of you guys know that I have naturally straight hair and I really hate it. And I wish that I had at least a little bit of wave to it. So I'm always trying to think of new ways to make my hair look like it's naturally curly. Because I love that look and it's my favorite thing ever. I came up with this and I think it's like a pretty simple look. It kind of takes a while since you have to curl your hair in such small pieces. But I also have a no heat version of this which is a lot faster. So let me know if you guys would like to see that and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial so let's just get to it. Okay, so to get this look, you're going to use a 3 4 inch curling iron, just any small curling iron that you have. I prefer to use one without a clamp because I think that it's easier. So this is from flydarnexperts.com, so I'll have that link down below. But just take really small pieces of your hair and you're just going to wrap them around the curling iron. And you kind of want to alternate the size of the curls. You don't want them to be all exactly the same, but you do want them to be all really small. And also alternate the direction that the curls are going. And then once you're finished with one section that you've done then go ahead and hairspray that so that it holds its shape so as you can see I'm alternating the direction of the curls and also the sizes of the curls and this just helps give it a more natural look because people who have naturally curly hair the curls are not all exactly the same so this just makes it look a lot more natural to do this then just take your favorite hairspray and go ahead and spray it so that the curls stay in all day. After you finish hairspraying it, then just go ahead and take your fingers and kind of shake out the curls and just pull them apart. And you don't want them to be together or clumped up or anything. And you also don't want to take a brush or a comb to your hair because that's just going to make it kind of frizzy and it doesn't really look as natural. So you just want to pull them apart and make them kind of piecey. Next I take my Garnier Fructis Wonder Waves Wave Enhancing Spray and I just spray this all throughout my hair and I like to scrunch it because that's kind of something that just gives it more of that natural looking texture is applying products like this and scrunching it. The next product I use to scrunch my hair is my Garnier Fructis Curl Constructing Mousse and I just get a little bit of this, well I kind of use a lot actually, but just a little bit at a time and then I just go ahead and scrunch it through my hair and I try to make sure that I get every single section. So I like to do the bottom, the roots, and then also like flip my head over and get the top of the bottom, if you know what I mean. Like right there at the top of the bottom. So you want to just make sure that you scrunch every single section of your hair to make sure that the curls hold in all of the different places. This time, baby. So I just usually will continue adding products until it gets the look that I like it to have. So as you can see, I'm just scrunching it and adding a bunch of the different products trying to hold the curl and make it look a little bit more natural. Next I take a wide tooth comb and kind of back comb through my hair like this, but be careful because I got the comb stuck in my hair. But I just like to back comb in like that to give it a little bit more volume and to just kind of separate the curls and make them a little bit fluffier. So I shake my head around and I fluff it up and I tease it and just try to give it a lot of volume and to make it look more natural you want to make sure that you have a lot of texture up at the top because if your curls start down lower then it's not going to look as natural. So next I take my Spiker Styling Glue Gel and I just put a little bit of this because it has a very strong hold but I just put a little bit of this into my hair and just scrunch it. So as you can see, just kind of scrunching it will help give it that natural texture and using those products like gel and hairspray and all of those things that I use are really what gives it that texture. So that is pretty much the completed look. It kind of turns out different every time that I do it, but I hope you guys enjoyed this look and let me know if you try it out. 
and also let me know if you'd like to see the no heat version because it's a lot faster. But thank you guys for watching. Bye!